guys, welcome back. Today, I am going to be talking to you about something that you may not hear often. I know you always hear about how to brand yourself, but today we're gonna talk about the complete opposite, okay? Whether you're an influencer or content creator or other creative entrepreneur, we're gonna talk about how to make your brand a business. If you're new here, my name is Angel. I am a social media content creator. I have a, another YouTube channel at Angel Grace 2. I also have a social media presence across multiple platforms with nearly a million following. Because I kept getting asked so many questions about the business and behind the business, I created this channel to share all things educational and to give you guys all of my tips and tricks to becoming a content creator or influencer or just making money online. Like I have said in the past, I am not that type of person to give you the same stuff you've heard before. You know, like how to brand yourself. There's so many videos and so many teachers and coaches out there teaching you how to brand yourself. This is not about that. I am going to be telling you guys some stuff that you don't hear all the time. The stuff you really, really need to know. The nitty gritty. Like you really want to make money? I got you because I'm all about working smart. Okay? Not harder necessarily. I'm just going to say it. Okay? Many creators put so much focus on building their brand, but not enough focus on building their business. I need to tweak that. If you're ready to build and establish yourself as an influencer, make sure you go ahead and brand your business as soon as possible. So today, I'm gonna walk you through making your brand a business. Now, the first thing you wanna do is to create a company. Now, I recommend an LLC, but there's so many different ones out there. I am an attorney, so I am going to recommend you hire an attorney to help you with creating a business as well as getting all your documentations in place and your, your contracts, all your you know things that you need in place. I do highly recommend that you do hire an attorney to help you with that and go over that I am not for hire but for those of you who you know may not have the money to let's say pay an attorney hourly or you know there are other options you can go I do recommend the contract shop Christina she is an attorney she created all the contracts that she sells and you can find disclosures contracts you can find LLC agreement you can find all of that and that is lawyer drafted and approved you can tweak it from there and I will leave a link below to her shop and you can check that out if you want to go that self-made route that's one route that you can go to make sure you have all your disclosures and everything because there are a lot that you do need to have in place but uh, there are ways to go about doing it too if you don't have the money to pay a, a lawyer hourly either but make sure to go ahead and create your company and get all your documentation in place very first thing secondly treat your brand like a business so in doing that when you created that company you started the process go ahead and get your bank accounts into business accounts and do all of your business through your business accounts and separate your influence and profits and you know creators profits out of your personal account make it a business treat your brand like a business and in doing that you know make sure to put that time and energy into it just as you would a business because i think a lot of times people start doing social media like as a side hustle or as just something to do on the side or just for fame no treat your brand like a business okay if you own a coffee shop what would you do you will be working you will be in there you'll be operating it you'll be checking your cash to make sure it's there nobody's stealing from you you know so think of your brand just as that it is it's your business so treat it the same way put forth the time the energy run your reports make sure nobody's ripping you off and you know the list goes on and on and on it's a really long list but <laughs> treat your brand like a business and when you think of it that way you will one not allow yourself to get run over and two your business can grow and you can see yourself and this is something that you can potentially be doing full time if you're not already now the third thing i want to talk to you about is to make sure you're taking all of your deductions okay you can write off so many things as a business did you know you could write off training and education courses yeah 
you can. There are a plethora of things that you can write off in a business. And I think a lot of people, when they, first off, they don't want to spend money when trying to grow their influence and want to learn to be a social media influencer or content creator. But you got to realize it takes money to make money. And if somebody is willing to open up and share with you the secrets, because a lot of people aren't, okay? It's such a hush-hush industry. Like, if you have somebody who is willing to open up about it and give you all the deets, take it because it's very rare okay it's very rare and secondly you know it, it's taken them years lots of mistakes lots of learning lessons so you should definitely be willing to pay for education just like you pay for a college class if you were to go back to college or if you would just go take a random class at a college you're gonna pay tuition on it and the professor is gonna get paid so it's actually helping you because you're saving yourself a lot of headache and trial and error if somebody's willing to tell you here 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 this is what you need to do to get where you want to be you can get there so much quicker it took them years or decades to get there and you can do it overnight because they're sharing you what works what doesn't work and how to get there quicker why not take that route come on let's work smarter okay not harder <laughs> So anyway, if you do take educational classes, you can write them off as a business expense. I take classes every year. I've been doing it every year. I've spent thousands on courses and workshops and learning and training sessions. And I have written off all of them. You can write them off as an expense. They're educational and you're training and you're learning as a business to grow to the next level. So they're all business expenses. So, when you go ahead and treat yourself like a business, you can take all your business expenses and deductions. So if you do spend, you know, a couple hundred or whatever on a course, you can turn right around and write it off as an expense and not feel guilty. Well, you should anyway, because you're learning. But, you know, that's also just one way to help soften the buffer. You know, especially if you really didn't have the money for it, it will deduct your income. I also have a lot of other must-haves that you should have as a influencer, content creator, or creative entrepreneur. It will be linked in the description box. It's completely free, but I highly recommend you have each and every one of these things in place, okay? So one is, yes, making yourself a company, a business, and the rest are in my blueprint. That's a freebie below to download so be sure to download that and check out the rest of my must-haves i just previously did a series on influencers and brand deals this next series i'm about to do is how to make money on all the social media platforms so stay tuned for more be sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video